soon. Welcome to Questions on the Couch with Kat. Thank you. And we have Ryan from Audrey Sessions here. Thank you for, for spending some time with us today. Yeah, no um, basically, to break the ice, we, we're going to ask a, a pretty obvious general question, but the, it's kind of the question that people want to know. If, if you were to talk about a band or a musician or an artist who's really influenced you, um, who, would you who would you pick? <laughs> That's like a tough question. Um, uh, I don't know. There's been like a ton of people that have, you know, influenced me from when I, you know, first started playing guitar, first started singing. Um, I couldn't really just name one, mm -hmm. even if you asked me to. I couldn't. There's so many. So. Um, well, what kind yeah. of genre of music? Um, was was really influential, say, when you were in high school or something. Oh what God! Did you well, when, to? I, when I was in high school, that, I was just thinking that because you said 2005 and I graduated in 2000, so it's 10 years. Um, I was playing like a lot of like skate punk stuff then, you know, oh, like, really? real fast, like in high energy, like intense music. But um, I've totally mellowed out since then. You know, I've become a big fan of really slow and and pretty music that takes a lot more time, like longer songs. Like, These are like three minute, you know. Skate punk songs, like, right? Real fast, but uh, I enjoy. You know, I guess my attention span is pretty big. I can listen to long songs. I don't mind it, even if it's the same chords over and over. Just how things are. Um, I was just talking about it with somebody. Just how everything is arranged and, and stuff with music is really interesting to me. So now we'll actually do the the magicianal magicianal the okay. magical hat. Do I pick something? Else? You just pick something, and who knows. Who knows what will come Let's out of the hat? This feels cool. This feels okay. Star. <laughs> I don't care. You got to read the question out loud, or uh, I can read it either. When way. I say the word politics, what are three words that come to mind? I don't care. Oh well, there you go. <laughs> okay, we'll try another one. How's okay, that? Okay. All right, let's try another. One. <laughs> um. How was your sold out show? Oh, what is the one question nobody has asked you that you've always wanted to answer? How was your uh, sold out show at the Fillmore last night? <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> So Ryan, actually, what we really want to know is that song that you said you just wrote two days ago. Yeah. That was just really amazing. Yeah. Can you can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, um, yeah. Uh, I've been. We're. Uh, I went from being a very, like I was talking earlier about being into like fast skate punk. I was big into like really tough uh, or like intricate like little parts. You know, like maybe faster parts. Um, and. Like I've said, I'm, I've mellowed out a lot, so I've been really trying to fool around with, uh, if I'm playing by myself, um, fooling with bass, you know, playing all the bass notes, and then uh, voicings of chords. Like, those chords are very simple. They're, it's probably just like an, uh, an E to A, maybe there's a B minor in there or something, but, you know, acoustic uh, guitars are pretty interesting instruments. They're really percussive and, and stuff, so I was really trying to work with something like that where I could, uh, maybe people could get the idea of, you know, the feeling as if there's a band back in you. There's a bass notes and there's a higher notes and, and stuff. And, uh, and I, I wrote this song a few days ago. Um, it's called um, the song I wrote two days ago. <laughs> <laughs> um, there's uh, I only have one word uh, written for it, and it's a chorus that says, it's all in my head. Um, you know, it's just uh, probably the thing I was going through, you know, like at the time where I was thinking something was bigger than it actually was, it was just all in my head. Uh, but I don't have words for it really yet, I'm just Well, it sings. Bullshit. It sings for itself, <laughs> so yeah. thank but you. But I'll write them, I'll write them. Great. Well, if uh, if somebody wanted to find out more about you, is there somewhere online? Where where well, would they go? Yeah, well, right now, uh, you can still go to, to Audrey Sessions, um, you know, at facebook.com backslash Audrey Sessions, A-U-D-R-Y-E. That's that's the your best bet right now, and then you'll see my name on there. We'll say members, and it'll say Ryan Grazia now. 
Okay. And are you playing somewhere? Is there yeah, somewhere we, soon? Yeah, we're playing um, a show August 27th at a place called The New Parish in Oakland. It's like a new venue. They, Oakland tends to have like they have the Fox Theater mm -hmm. and Paramount, really big. And then there's a lack of like middle, you know, sized venues. Right. You know? There's like the Uptown, which is a great place. I go there all the time. Uh, but it's 21 and over. So I think the new parish is 18 and over, but uh, it's like the size of um, somewhere in between Bob and the Hill and Slim's, you know, it's just right in the middle. Right. I think it's owned by the same people that own the Independent in San Francisco. So. Okay, great. And also, of course, you can find Audrey Sessions on RootJam.com. We'll keep you updated. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, been a, a pleasure. So the video is, it's gonna, you guys are going to post the video. Right? Absolutely. Okay. And we'll let you know. Okay. And, uh, it's been it's been a real pleasure. Thank nice you so you much. Yeah, I think yeah. we got to go get cool somewhere. It's so yeah, hot well, this here. This is like probably the, the coolest place I've been in. It's the coolest place, and it's the coolest. Place.